hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marte. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm going to do something really exciting because as many of you might have seen, Jeffree Star just released his cremated palette last weekend and it was a very cool toned black, white, gray inspired palette. And even though such a palette is great in many people's collections, especially people that love cool toned colors, a lot of us maybe expected something a bit more deep and grungy and colorful. And I had an incredibly talented, creative and kind lady reach out to me in my comment section in one of my previous videos. And she showed me a make-believe palette of what she was hoping that the Jeffree Star gothic dream, as he himself called it, palette would be. And I'll just leave that picture right up here so you can see what her idea was. And I truly loved her idea. I thought it was so beautiful. And so as she suggested to me we could do a collab where I try to dupe that palette that she made up and this is how my palette ended up looking like. As you can see I did make some changes from Dee's original idea. I added some more colors, uh, both because I'm a sucker for color as you know if you follow me here, but also because I didn't have all of those colors that she had in her Make Believe palette. And for example I don't own a single gray single shadow. <laughs> But also Dee helped me find some of the shades that I was looking for to dupe the palette by looking at my brand specific videos where I swatch my shadows. So this was truly a collab where we both helped each other and created this palette together. And just as a disclaimer, this video or this concept is not at all in any way, shape or form made to stir any negativity. We're just two passionate makeup lovers who want to put our idea out there and hopefully make something that you guys also really like. And regarding all the drama around Jeffree Star, we just want to keep this strictly about the makeup. So the concept of this palette is to mirror our expectations of the cremated palette and it kind of serves the purpose as the cremated palette's colorful sister or companion. And for Dee, this palette especially reflects some of her favorite goth YouTubers who represent the gothic community, like It's Black Friday of Herbs and Alters, Aurelio Voltaire, Drag Makins, Riri Phillips, Adora Batbrat, Glam Goth, Luxuria. Yeah, and I will also, of course, link all of these down below. I'm personally not uh, familiar with any of these because if you know me, I'm not a very goth inspired person. But we made this color story with all skin tones in mind and we really hope that you guys love it just as much as we do. And goths do not only wear the stereotypical black, white and grey, but also neon colors and deep muted rainbow colors. And for the placement of the shadows in the palette, we wanted to have the first row being like a black rainbow, which has a true black and the darkest shades of olive, green, blue, purple and red as you can see right here. And this row is basically your everyday goth look. Black with a pinch of color and perfect for your dark soul and smoky eye. Whereas the second row right here could be called steampunk and it consists of metallic and shimmery rainbow eyeshadows to glam up any look and add some dimension and attention to the look. And please note that this is made for the creatures of the night. For the best sparkles, you have to wait until the sun goes down. Then we have the third row right here, and this could be called Creeping Daylight, and it consists of transition shades, as you can see. Um, more of a muted rainbow, plus, of course, two shimmery inner corner highlights. And as you can see, those are sort of like a white and a silver. Then we have the fourth and last row, this could be called radioactive and contains a white, as you can see, followed by some neon pigments reserved for cyber mutants and aliens. And if you are not one already, then you will become one if you touch these because these are radioactive. And as you might have already seen, the columns also make up a concept, each of them. And this is where I will just show you the swatches column wise. So this first column is like a gothic dream, as you can see. It has the perfect matte black, a matte shimmer. I did not have a proper matte shimmer, so this is a black with some sparkles. And then we have a 
white inner corner sparkly pigment from Tammy Tanuka, followed by a matte white, of course. This second row right here, it gives you that zombie glam with yellow grungy undertones with the olive shades, the antique gold with a little bit of purple shift or sparkles in it. Then we have a silver that almost shifts to a bit of a champagne and a green shade that is almost like a neon yellow. The third column is, as you can see, green like forest witch. It has a deep green matte, deep green shimmer. If deceased was a color, that would be the third shade here, at least from my skin tone, because it has that green tinge to it almost. And then we have this bright neon green. The fourth column is inspired by gorgeous midnight blues with a deep, deep blue, a super interesting multi-dimensional a sparkly shifter shade, I would say. <laughs> it has uh, a muted blue base, but some purple and teal and blue specks. Then we have a very muted transition shade, which leans a little bit more gray and a bright neon blue. The fifth column is, you can see, purple inspired, and we could call this Mistress of the Manor. And as you can see, a super dark, gorgeous purple. We have a multi-chrome sparkly shifter shade from Tami Tanuka with some green and gray as well. And then we have a cool toned or neutral transition shade, which has, of course, purple as the main shade and a bright purple neon. The sixth and last column is our vampire last column. As you can see, it's red and it has a super deep dark burgundy red, a bright shimmery red, a neutral transition shade, because we have to have one, <laughs> and then a bright neon red. Now that you have seen the swatches, I will be showing you how I did this look that I have on my eyes right here using the palette. And if you want to skip that, then thank you so much for watching. I will also leave a timestamp here if you want to see the outro. But let's just go straight to this look right here. So I have applied my NARS light tinted eye primer on my lids because I feel like that is one of the best primers that I have. And now I will be going in with the sparkly black which is this one from Kaleidos Makeup and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid and try to blend it out a bit. The brush I'm using is by the way from BH Cosmetics and it's their eyeshadow brush with the number 3 on it. Now I'm going in with the deep green from Luxie Beauty here and I'm using my Morphe brush. I don't know the name of it sadly. And I'm just going to apply that green shade just above where I did the blending with the black, just so that we get a tint of green in our crease too. It's getting me in trouble, baby. And I can't break away. I thought that I could keep it low. Take it easy, take it. And before moving on from that, I'm just taking a little bit of setting powder here just to make sure that the eyeshadow base is set closer to my eyebrows because that will leave us with a nicer blend up to the brow bone. And now I'm taking Morphe M149 and I will just be going in with a tiny bit of Sprite from Cleonad here just to make sure that we get that blend that we want because this one has like a slight green tinge to it and it's relatively close to my skin tone. So I will just be placing that right above where I put that green shade. Now I'm just going back with that brush that I used with the deep green and I'm not applying anything more, I'm just working on the blending a little bit. Now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that black just to make sure we have it all up to the crease where we want it to be. 
just work a little bit on the transition between the black and the green. So right now I have an idea and it might go completely wrong, but I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit of my NARS primer, which is in the shade clear and not the tinted one. So I'm just taking a little bit here on my finger and I'm going to try to just tap that slightly on top of the middle of my lid. Once I have the primer on, I'm going to take a little bit of that lightest greenish neon yellow shade Keep Scrolling and I'm just going to tap it on top of that primer. And as you can see, I'm trying to make it look nice both when I have my eyes open so that we can barely see like a ray of that green but also that it looks like this when I'm opening my eyes completely and now that we have that green laid out as you can see it's not opaque but I just wanted it to be like the base for my silver pigment so I'm just going to tap some glitter glue and the one I'm using is from BH Cosmetics I'm not really sure if you can actually see the green once I'm done here but <laughs> at least we tried now I'm just taking a small flat brush with that silver pigment, silver hoof from Tami Tanuka. And I'm just going to tap that right above where I placed the glitter glue. All the wrongs in every reason. Now I'm just using my Linda Halberg Core Crayon in the shade White Core. And I'm just going to place that in my inner corner right here and I will be topping it off with that same green that I put on my lid just using this white base it will really be popping and I'm still considering if I should put on that white pigment that inner corner shade or not but let's just get on with the light green so this is keep scrolling by Colourpop I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glitter glue just in the absolute inner corner here because I blew out that green a lot. So just like right here. And then I'm taking She Who Hunts Mirror Carps by Tami Tanuka, that's the white one. And I'm trying to gently place that exactly where I put the glitter glue. Now I'm just going in with the matte black Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to place that exactly into my inner corner and I've, I'm trying to avoid fallout now. So I'm just tapping very close to the lash line and I'm barely lifting my brush because that way I'm like catching whatever might fall down. And now I'm just taking that product exactly on the tip of the brush and I'm trying to connect it with the upper lid shades. Just because as you can see I have this fold going a bit, like almost a centimeter further than my actual eye. <laughs> so I'm just trying to like elongate my eye or my eyeshadow to follow that shape. Now I just cleaned my brush with my color switch and I'm taking that deep green that I used on top here and I'm just going to try to blend out the black and also drag this one a bit closer to my inner corner. Take it easy. And as you can see I always like to like make it point a bit down just because I feel like that opens up my inner corner a little bit and creates the illusion of a bigger inner corner. Now I'm going in with Sprite by Cleona just to get a little bit of a better transition. Now taking a little bit of matcha again and on the tip of my brush a little bit of Corrupt. And I think that is it for this look. I might just tight line my eye a little bit. I, oh, I really want to have something like acid green on my waterline if I can find that. And of course I will put on mascara and I'll do a I think I'll do a bold lift and I will just show you the close up. And there's a storm inside my head. It's getting me in 
trouble, baby. And I can't break away. I thought that I could keep it low. Take it easy, take it slow. So now you have seen how I did this look, you have heard our whole story and inspiration behind making this custom palette and you have seen the swatches of it and I hope that that was fun for you guys, that you liked it and I really really appreciate the fact that Dee contacted me with this because collabing with her was such a dream, it really just came so naturally to both of us I feel like and I just want to thank her so so much for doing this with me, it was so much fun and even though she is not here in the video, this was like basically all her idea and she had more to do with this than I did so I just want to thank her so so much for doing this with me and choosing me to do this with her because I know that this was very important for her because this has been like her dream palette that she wishes other brands would come out with but she has never seen it so it was so fun to bring that idea to life. I'm sure that a lot of you guys also have some palette dreams or like your dream palette that you would like to see out there so if you do have it then please leave a comment down below uh, explaining to me what that is and we can all have a discussion of our dream palettes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to hear what your thoughts and expectations about the cremated palette were because I know that a lot of people had a lot of different opinions on that palette so I would love to hear yours. What would you expect with that palette? What do you think about the whole situation? <laughs> Just make sure to be nice and remember that this video is in no way shape or form meant to be bad against Jeffree Star or anything. This is just about the makeup and that's why we wanted to make this video. And I'm so sorry I see that the lighting is changing because the sun is coming out so I look pale as a ghost but I guess that just fits to the whole theme of this video. <laughs> anyway I think that that was it for this video. Thank you so so much to Dee for doing this with me and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't <laughs> and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I do post every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and sometimes even more than that so I would love to see you in my next video as well. Thanks for watching. Bye!